There once lived a man, honest, trustworthy and dear. His name was Noah. He was caring and very sincere. He helped friends and neighbours when bad times came about. He gave food and clothes to help everyone out. He never stopped helping, always lending a hand. There was no one like Noah in all of the land. <coughs> Noah and his sons, Shem, Ham and Japheth, the story does say, were sitting on the porch one bright autumn day. Suddenly, the eldest son, Shem, shouted out loud, Look to the west, it's all covered with clouds. Noah jumped up in worry and dismay. God warned me that the great flood would come one day. He asked me to take care of the animals so meek. A wooden ark I will build them, their safety to keep. Our family will go with them and stay for a while. We will build a small room there, he said with a smile. They went out to the yard where they built in two days an enormous ark to keep them safe from the waves. They sent out the message with each wandering bird. To the mountains, rivers and forests they spread the word. They invited the animals to the ark safe and sound. In pairs, male and female, they'll be spared from the flood. Soon, with noise and commotion, they began to arrive. Animals from everywhere with a hope to survive. Horses, tigers, goats and even two mice. Rabbits and snakes, cats and dogs, all together so nice. Giraffes, elephants, lions and apes crowded in. With mules, bears, camels and rhinos, such a terrible din. And in one long line they started to go, up into the ark, steady and slow. Noah hurried everyone up and fastened the door. Then he led all the animals from floor to floor. The storm was approaching, no time to waste. He settled them all in their places in haste. A few hours passed and the black clouds were looming. The rain poured down and the floods were starting. Thunder and lightning, the mighty storm was so near. But Noah and the animals, they felt no fear. For forty days and nights it rained without ceasing. Pounding on the roof, the rain kept increasing. For forty days and nights the storm did rage on, tossing the ark on the waves all alone. Suddenly the rain stopped. It was all quiet instead. That's it, my friends, the flood is over, Noah said. The animals asked, is it time to go home? Is there dry land that we can walk on? At sunrise, Noah sent a dove to check. If all was completely dry, the dove returned to the ark as the sun set. The trees are still under water. It's much too wet. Another week passed and Noah sent out the white dove again. He waited for her to return and report on the rain. At sunset, the dove appeared at the window of the ark. In her beak, an olive branch showed in the dark. On the mountain of Ararat, the ark came to rest at last. Noah opened the door, very slowly, not fast. The animals came out to greet the warmth of the sun. Then came Noah, his wife, Shem, and then Japheth, the youngest son. All eyes were raised to the heavens on high, to witness a rainbow through the clouds in the sky a colourful symbol given by God's hand as a sign of his promise that he had forgiven the land.
Slowly and happily, the animals began to roam, while Noah and his family built a new home, in a land clean and pure, filled with bye goodness bye. and laughter. They lived safe from all harm, happy ever after. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. The end. Bye-bye.